I just thought this was a great time for us to come together and talk about um, something that weighted and, and deep for both of us. So this process of being a dancer and also providing our own story for the background context of the dance has been um, surprisingly uplifting at times and unexpectedly heavy. This piece is really, really dedicated to acknowledging the pain, acknowledging how the pain happens, um, and the things that happen to you as a result of that pain, the way that you express and kind of go a little crazy, but more than that, really transmuting that energy into healing. Well, I think it's important to do this and to do it in a way that we are actively trying to invite people to come and see it. Um, because there's just so many unique things that are happening here that we're calling attention to that you don't often get to see all together or highlighted. This piece is important to do because one is just to bring awareness because some people unfortunately don't know and then also for people who have experienced this it's a part of it can be a part of their healing or at least some type of community or camaraderie. It's like, hey, you're not alone in this struggle. There are other people who have experienced it or there are people who are behind you and they're like, hey, I know what it's like, I got you. It's important for us to tell our own stories in our, in our own way. Um, and I'm really just grateful for the group of women that I'm working with and their courage and honesty. Um, is really beautiful and I'm just hoping that people come and witness mm -hmm. the offering that we have. Come and know that they're coming to a transmutation ritual. It's not just a show that you're coming to see, but that you're coming to help heal this pain, whether you've experienced that trauma or not. It's yeah. a collective healing that we're a part of. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Joy and pain, the sunshine and the rain, what we do to maintain, what we do to maintain, fly away.